Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play Paper Mario Color Splash. And this seems to be another one of those games that doesn't really have a menu screen, maybe, to start off with, because look, there's a piece of dialogue here that I can advance forward. I don't know, man, there's some strange ill works afoot, but I guess that's kind of the way things are when you go and find a toad without color and you have a postcard stamp on it and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm just gonna get right into things, and if there is a menu, good? If not, I don't even know. But anyway, also because I don't know if I'm gonna throw in the cutscene or not. I might, but I might not as well, just because of the fact that every everybody's seen the intro cutscene. Oh man. But yeah, guys, we're here! So this is the famous Port Prisma. So peaceful and quiet. Really quiet. Uh, where is everybody? Okay. Every single character that's not a toad is gonna have an intro screen. I'm just gonna call it right now. Even this uh, billboard that's right next to us. He's gonna have intro screen. Billboard! Ba -da 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 -da. Anyway. Ah, it's nice to be on dry land again. We have come to the right place, haven't we? Part Prisma? I thought this was supposed to be a tourist destination. It seems a little quiet, don't you think? Oh, that's the best kind of tourist destination though, Peach. You got it all wrong. If you're at a beach with nobody at it, that's a good thing. Either that or there's just sharks in the water, who knows. Yeah, weird. I even let them know we were coming. You'd think they'd prepare a warmer welcome for Princess Peach and the world-famous Mario! Speaking of Mario, what is he doing? Oh, Peach, you don't want to know. He's just on the boat, cooking you a nice cake for you. It's the tables have turned. Ha <laughs> ha, he's gonna give you a cake. Mario, we're here. Come on out. Oh, that was quite a storm last night, wasn't it? You poor thing. Oh no. Yeah, you look like a used gum wrapper. Iron yourself out, man. Wait, am I supposed to do something? Oh, oh I just have to jump. <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. There's my Mario, much better. Are you sure, or am I just a different cloned photocopied piece of paper? Who knows? We're all paper here. All right, let me take another look at this letter. Oh, I just can't bear to think about what could, what I'm really holding. A folded up colorless toad. The only clue we have is that he was postmarked here in Port Prisma. Not to worry, Princess. I've read the Port Prisma guidebook cover to cover. We want to head to Prisma Fountain in the center of town. It's a big tourist attraction. From there, maybe we'll run into some locals who can help us. Sounds like a plan. But we, uh, but I've got a bad feeling about this place. Or we've got a bad feeling too. I'm just gonna speak for everybody here. Let's proceed with caution. Okay, yeah, this just did quite literally just throw me into the game because you need to know, you need to know everything that's, or at least you don't need to know everything that's going on. Huh? Oh no, I can't ground pound. The world is a mess. Also, how come I have 50 health to begin with? Isn't that like end game level of Paper Mario? But then again, this is not a regular Paper Mario game. Now who would just leave this crate in front of the stairs like this? It's blocking our way into town. So, we have to break this crate. That's original. Let's not make this crate another statistic. There's gotta be a better way. Well, we're paper, so we can just do uh, the thousand year door and just go sideways. Not really? No? Okay. Just good to know. Prism Island! A colorful island paradise. Oh man. Voted the world's most colorful town. And that's why everyone's stealing it. All the colors. It's magnificent. S six? Wait, what? Only six? That's not very many. I think there's more than six colors in a rainbow. You're skimping out over here, man. Ah, now we're talking. Looks like a there's something to, on that box. You know... Think you can jump up there and check it out, Mario? 
Well, I am Jump Man, after all. I gotta be able to jump. Come on. Yeah. Oh, no. I didn't say I was Walk Man. I can't really walk. Also, that's kind of a thing that you listen to CDs with. You've got a hammer! Score! That totally makes up for me accidentally tossing your hammer overboard during the voyage. Right? I bet it works just like your old one. Try pressing B to swing it. Oh, and I guess this is also, like, explaining the fact that it's like, uh... I'm actually gonna smash everything I can, because I think these things can be smashed, right? Yeah, they can be. Oh, I think the coins... no way. I think the coins very slightly are made out of paper. They just look kind of slightly strange, too, at the same time. But, yeah, it, it's like in, uh, Metroid, that y you lose all your stuff at the beginning of each game, so they're just like, oh, yeah, we gotta have an explanation. I just threw your stuff over the side. Also, very quickly, I might want to check my audio just to be 100% sure that I'm not not having audio before I move forward, because you never know with Wii U games. You, you never know, man. Just trust me about this. Although, ah, oh, coins. Okay, audio levels seem to be optimal. Let's get going. Oh man, it's just like Legend of Zelda. Ba da da da! You just broke a crate. Even though that would be the wrong little jingle for it anyway. Sorry, crate. You gave us no choice. La la now, let's go check out the town. I think I probably should have did it the other way around, with him being all gruff and tough with the crate, and then afterward he gets a little bit like, Oh, let's go and check out the town, we're all nice and cheery, yahoo! Even though he's a toad, and he's doing the Mario thing. Everybody that's around Mario just becomes Mario eventually. Assimilation! Oh no. Well, this town still does look fairly colorful all in all. Look at this. Even if there are just white splotches all over the ground. Somebody's been melting some marshmallows. Come on, guys. You gotta put them over the fire and then you eat them. You don't just keep burning them and then you, you throw them on the ground because they're just like, Oh no, they're on fire! Marshmallows! Wow, this really is a ghost town. This can't be right. Are you sure this is Prisma Fountain Toad? According to my guidebook, the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. So, um, yeah, it doesn't seem right. I'll take a look around and see if I can find someone. He's gonna die. <laughs> He's, it's a way, it's a horror movie. He's gonna be the first one to die. Just listen to the music. That's horror music. There's no mistaking this postmark on this poor toad. He's definitely mailed from Port Prisma. But, who could have done such a thing? Well, Mario's thinking very hard, but he's not gonna ever say anything. I'm sorry, he's another silent protagonist. Look at that! Some kind of device just rose out of the fountain! Maybe you should take a closer look at it. No, I think, Peach, you should take a closer look at it. You just stand right over top of whatever that device is, and... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That was amazing. I'm just gonna take a quick look around here. Oh no, no, I, I want to look at this. Over here looks so much more enticing because it looks like there's a diving board or something. Oh well, let's just go over here. Fine, but what I'm trying to say is that you need to become the Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> there, uh, Peach, so. Emergency recovery unit. In case of emergency, activate these three switches hidden in the plaza. Blue, yellow, red. Hit, pull, jump. Blue hit, yellow pull, red jump. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to remember it that well. I'll probably have to just run back to it. Blue hit, yellow pull, red jump. Blue hit, yellow pull, red jump. Okay, so it's probably over here, right? Or I just need to like... Maybe each direction is the one to do. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna go over here first, because I wanted to jump... No! Okay, fine. You know what? You know what, Peach? Screw you. Oh! No way! <laughs> that was unexpected, but very appreciated. Ah, now we're getting some more Mario. Would you mind taking a look around for those switches? Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. He's already flat. He's flat, Jim. Okay. 
No, come on! Okay, I guess I'll just do uh, things. I'll look around this. Oh, you can destroy all their benches. No one can sit down this day. Or at least if you do sit down, you're not having a good time. Because you're basically just sitting on the ground. But I wonder... Can I go this other way then? Mario, I think I've got it! If you're all out of ideas, come to me and think about something. Okay, fine. I'm gonna check over here first. Oh, okay, fine. I... Oh! No way! So they are inside this place, I just... I'm doing things the slow way, to say the least. And also, they give you a lot of coins. I wonder what I'm gonna have to be buying in this place, because it's just like... Madness. Madness, I say. Oh. Also... I'm just gonna crush all the flowers. All of the townsfolk are gonna be very upset with me. Because afterward, they're gonna have to go and buy their... What do you call them? They just have a lot of workers to do more work, yeah? Parks and recreation, that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna run right up the center. Or, wait, wait, wait. Jump. Okay. Now I just need to pull on something. But what, what should I pull on? It needs to be yellow in color, that's all I know. Can I just jump inside this? Oh, well I can sort of, but... There's nothing that really just like stands out as... Pull. I wonder if I can pull... Hey! <laughs> it was yellow. Okay, I'm a genius. Sorry, Peach, you're not very smart. <laughs> totally, I didn't understand what I was supposed to do to begin with, but I just kind of figured it out. Much smarter than you. Puzzle games, man. It's some sort of alien! Kill him! Before he can kill us! Huh, is that a paint can? And is that me punching my microphone? Yes, I did just punch, punch my mic. Oh well. Okay. Let's kill. Crush, kill, destroy. I'm gonna actually test it. Yeah, there we go. Huey! Now where's Dewey and Louie? That's the real question here. Ow! What was that for? No, I'm not actually gonna give a voice, but... Because I just like to do things the uh, new old-fashioned way for this Paper Mario series. Nobody has voices other than when I feel like they do. Which, they don't. How would you like it if I whacked you with a hammer while you were sleeping? Well, it depends on what kind of hammer. If it's made out of jello, sure. Why, why, why not? It might actually still hurt. I don't know. Oh, we're so sorry. It's just that we thought you were a paint can, so we tried to open you up. Why are you speaking for me, Peach? I didn't think that. I just wanted to... I wanted to crush, kill, destroy. Come on. Always crush, kill, destroy. A regular paint can! Do you think I'm just some sort of regular paint can? I... I made a mistake. A grave mistake. Alright. Don't you look like you're not from around here. As, as I said before, but I didn't. I implied it. Dyslexia? So I'll forgive you, uh... F forgive that comment. But I am so much more than a regular paint can. Anyway, now that I'm awake, uh, you want to grab a burger or something? Your treat. <laughs> if you tell me where the burgers are, sure. I'll, I'll do it. Oh, um, we're, we're actually here to investigate a strange letter we received from your town. Uh, only, it's not an ordinary letter. It, it It's a toad. Drained of color. And postmarked Port Prisma. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Princess Peach of Mushroom Kingdom. And this is my... friend, Mario. He jumps on things and he hits them with a hammer when necessary. And I also have a very bright and hardworking retainer. Retainer? Really? Okay. Around here somewhere. It's in my mouth. Uh oh no, let's just walk the other direction. He's probably fine. What was that? Stop! Get off me! That doesn't sound good. That sounded like Toad. He might be hurt or in trouble. Or it could just be uh, like 50 of the other Toads. They're probably just around the corner, you know? Everybody's a Toad. Everybody... 
Oh no, I don't even know what I'm thinking of. It's some sort of song, but no, not really. We're coming, Toad! Are you sure? We could just go and get that burger like uh, this guy was saying. He seems impermeable to attacks. Oh no. Oh no, that shy guy is sucking him right from the the crotch up. Well, it, it is at least right around his crotch currently. I don't know. Stop it! My, my beautiful colors! Goodness, what is that thing doing to him? Mario, help me! I can't feel my pants! <laughs> oh boy. But I did find something that might come in handy. Uh, take these and remember me fondly. Oh wow. <laughs> he found a lot. He found like a whole deck on the ground or something. You got a bunch of cards. I won't remember you fondly, Toad, because every Toad is a Toad. I'm sorry. You're all alike. You're not individual. You're not Toadsworth. Toad, no! What are you waiting for? Mario, use those battle cards on this sucker. But I don't know what a battle card does. Tell me. Here he comes. Hold it. Do you even have any paint, Mario? No. I, I already know the answer to that. I don't have any paint, as far as I know. You're probably the paint carrier, as far as I know, as well, so... Uh... <laughs> Ugh, don't have any paint? I can smell paint from a mile away! What are we gonna do? There's no paint around here. Well, what I would do is I just use my hammer and smack him in the face. We don't need to fight with paint. Do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, there's no other choice. Mario, you're gonna have to ring me out. Just press A to give me a squeeze. Uh, don't be shy now. Well, if only it was that easy. <laughs> can, I, can I just press A to give other people squeezes around me? Yeah? I don't even know if that sounds enticing now that I say it. <laughs> Oh, you became flat now! What? How come he's not three-dimensional? Whew, I'm so light and airy! Is that what you paper folk feel like all the time? Alright, enough flapping in the wind! That's very close to another word if you just take out a couple letters, or just one. <laughs> the, the paint you just absorbed is basically my blood, sweat, and tears. You'll have to ta- you'll have time to shower later. Use that paint to power up those battle cards your friend gave you. And then use battle cards in the, to, to plaster this introverted assassin! Now that's just offensive. You shouldn't be calling him introverted. He seems very good with friends and family and everyone else in the crowd. Look at that, he has friends. He's not introverted. Come on. Hey, so are we just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna attack you now? I mean, if, if that's cool with you, dog. No, that's definitely not cool. Since you, when are there are three of you? Whatever. We've got cards. We've got paint. Now you know what to do, Mario. I, I guess. No, I should have jumped. I needed to jump. You have no idea what to do, do you? No worries, Uncle Huey is here to give you a primer. Seriously though, when is, when is Dewey and Louie gonna show up? I really wanna know. <laughs> That'd be really awkward as if there's... There's just Dewey and Louie that were just like the, the, the ducks though, and he's still just a paint can, and they're just like, Oh no, Huey, what happened to you? It's Disney jokes, but they're not at the same time, but whatever. Tap to select cards. Okay, I have to look down at myself. So... Oh, you can't, you can't see this. Wait, don't worry, everyone's bad at first. 
You can't say that. Especially since I wasn't almost going to be looking at that. Because on the gamepad here, uh, here's some more advice from Huey. So here are all the cards you got from Toad. They're called battle cards for obvious reasons. Each one lets you perform an action in battle. The pictures on the cards should give you a general idea. And a general grievous. For example, look at this one. It has two boots on it. That means the card will let you use a jump attack two times. The number of icons on the card shows the number of attacks. The big ol' boot here will let you do one super powerful jump attack. The bigger the icon, the stronger the attack. Simple, right? Now here, pick a card and drag it to the spot. Okay, I think it wants me to choose the big boot. I think I'm just gonna use a regular jump to begin with. And uh, tap the card ready when you are ready to move it forward with the card. Go ahead, give it a try. I'd rather, I'd rather paint it. How do I paint? No, okay, fine. Oh, now I have to paint, okay. You have to put ready, then you paint. Ready, paint, fire! That's not what he's saying. And what he's saying is, next you can add paint to the card you've selected. Just touch the card with your finger to paint it. The more you paint it, the stronger it will be. Oh, yes, paint! Okay. Oh, you actually have to hold it down. Paint as much or as little as you like, then uh, tap done painting. Can I unpaint it? Okay, I think I can't unpaint it. Actually, I can. Good to know. I am done painting. This, this seems a lot just for jumping on somebody. I could just press A twice and it would have been just as easy or better. <laughs> when you're ready to play the card, just flick it toward... Flick it upward and start the fight. Wait, do I really have to flick? Swish and flick, okay. There we go. Fight! Alright, now we're... Now here's where the action really heats up. Press A at the critical point of an attack to increase the damage you do, or earn attack bonuses, or bonus attacks. I'd say attack bonuses, it actually makes more sense in my opinion. For jump attacks, press A right before you jump on your foe. I'm still just gonna make this up. If you time your attacks well, you can do five jumps. Wait, really? That's a whole lot of jumping. You can also tap the gamepad screen instead of pressing A. I'd rather press A. Okay. I don't think I did it properly. <laughs> Alright, they might not like this part as much. They're gonna attack you. Or you might not like me. Okay. But you don't have to just sit there and take it, Mario. But what if I like it that way? <laughs> you can defend yourself. It's the law. Press A before an enemy attacks you to block some of the damage. Yeah! Okay, I guess when you see the A, it's probably as soon as you see it, you have to press it. But yeah, these guys seem weak, so I think I'm probably just gonna do regular old jumps. Oh no, you can even move the card! That's not good. Oh well. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna paint all the time. Painting every day. Every single day of my painting life. Yeah, I did it twice. I don't think it really matters, all in all. But that's pretty good if you can block two out of the three damage. That's almost... Actually, it's not almost as good as the one in uh, the Thousand Year Door, because in, in the Thousand Year Door, you could actually deflect all damage and place one onto the enemy guy. But, uh, yeah, I'll just... Oh, no. Oh, no. I just want a regular jump yet again. I am boring, and I don't have very many good cards. Here we go. Yeah. So, do I ever... I don't think I am actually able to choose which enemy I get to fight. Which is a bit unfortunate. So, I guess you just fight the guy that's in first first. And just hope that the guy in the back is just not very strong. Color me impressed. You're a natural, kid. Oh, poor toad. Everyone, a moment of silence, please. I just want to smack her with a hammer. Man, I'm starving. How about that burger? Uh, don't, don't worry about toad there. He'll be fine. Walk it off, bud. 
Uh, hmm. Well, maybe he's in rougher shape than I thought. No worries, he just needs a fresh coat of paint and he'll be good as new. Really, you can revive him with paint? That would be a miracle. He won't be coming back as a freaky kind of zombie toad, right? No, ma'am. He'll be the same toad he'll uh, he's always been. That's the power of paint. You see, paint isn't just for powering up battle cards. Paint also adds beauty and life to the world. So I've taken the liberty of loading up your hammer with all the colors of the rainbow. Go on, press X to give it a swing and aim for your pasty little friend here. Okay, that's, I was pressing Y. I'm, I'm using an Xbox controller style. There you go. I don't know, I, th I thought I just colored him red, but I guess he has all the colors too. Hmm. Just five more minutes, mom. Wait, what? I'm alive! And I can feel my pants. Oh, yeah. That's the way he wanted to say it. Trust me, he did. Oh, Toad, I'm so glad you're okay. Without your colors, we hardly even recognized you. Without your colors, you're dead. We couldn't recognize you because you're dead. See, that's the power of paint. Now I've got to warn you. I gave you something I've got, but it won't last forever. If you want to keep on painting the world around you, you're going to have to resupply from time to time. So, this here can just save my life. This can here just save my life. I knew that recycling would pay off one day. Hey, just in case we get assembled or ambushed, looked like assembled. It starts with the same beginning and end. By any more freaks with bendy straws. Where exactly are we supposed to find this magical life-saving paint you speak of? Or giving. Easy, remember that fountain in the center of town? You know, the one I was taking a nap? Well, it's the prime source of paint for all of Prism Island. I've got six big paint stars hooked up in that, that thing, and they'll put out as much paint as you like. Plus, I mean, the paint pretty much flies out of everything around here. Try hitting stuff with your hammer, and you'll see what I mean. So... Ah, uh, whatever. Just, just ignore what I was thinking there. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was just a little worried because the fountain looked completely dry when we, we woke you up. Yeah, so we just need to turn it on or something, right? It, it's definitely dry when we got there. <laughs> dry, good one, Toad. Mario might want to give this guy another whack with that hammer. Oh, I probably will, don't worry. I mean, dry? Please, I am just so wet right now. That's another thing that he wanted to say. <laughs> Our big paint stars can never run dry. Come on, I'll show you. Uh, paint stars? I don't know what a paint star is, but I definitely didn't see anything like that. Mero, there's another colorless figure over there. We, can, we can't just leave him here like that. What should we do? That's what we should do. Okay. I'm just gonna smack as much of everything. Ooh, paint! Didn't get very much... Actually, it might be a good idea to use all your paint first and then destroy things. Yeah? There you go. Oh, it's a blue toad. Welcome to Prisma Cardwa. Wait, what's going on? Last thing I remember was I was surrounded by a bunch of thirsty shy guys. But why do they drink people? That's what I want to know. Are these shy guys cannibals? I think they're cannibals. Oh, no. Mario? Nah, there's no way Mario would come all the way out to Prism Island. What are you, some sort of Mario impersonator or something? How much, uh, do you make for a gig like this? Eight, nine coins an hour? Whatever. <laughs> I just have, like, lots of random uh, thoughts in my head that just pop up whenever something like that comes up, but... Minimum wage, whatnot. Anyway, stop by my shop in the blue district sometime and pick up some battle cards. Oh yeah, if, if you find uh, some shy guys who stole my cards, uh, turn them into scrap paper. What, you just want me to kill people? That, that's not right, man. I can't just kill people. Oh, I, I guess I can, but... It's debatable, I just can't kill people. 
Oh, does this just keep dropping paint or what? Maybe trees are the source of life. Oh. Hey, Mario, nice work with all the battle cards. I gotta say, though, your action command game is looking a little sketchy. If you ever want to practice, come by my dojo or house. We could just hang out, watch movies or whatever, Netflix and chill. Got surround sound. It won't be weird. I'll just reach my hand down your pants every once in a while. Okay. So... Wait. <laughs> they do all jump. It's just like Paper Mario. Wait a second. <laughs> but yeah, already so far this game seems better probably than Super Paper Mario, because... Well, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like Super Paper Mario a lot, but... It's because it wasn't even a Paper Mario game anymore. 